Hi, Sunshines. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lauren Ann. And, and together, together we, we are Mad Curls. We said Mad Curls twice, but you know what? That's okay. Okay. Right. right. <laughs> we, we messed up our intro. Um, <laughs> but we are Mad Curls, which stands for because we have a lot of brand new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Mother and Daughter Curls. Mother and Daughter Curls. It's the acronym for Mother and Daughter Curls. Yeah. We got a lot of comments um, mm -hmm. saying, you know, oh my gosh, I thought you guys were best friends. Like, you're mother and daughter. I'm like, well, actually, we are best friends, but we're mother and daughter, too. <laughs> so. And as we put the products in our hair, we'll explain how the name came about. Because we were thinking about how did the name yeah, come about, and we don't really know. But we do know there was some drama, some pettiness, and some running and crying, and all of that when I first all got on the channel. <laughs> we'll share that with you. <laughs> yes, because we do do our tutorials chit chat style mm -hmm. and we are back with a full-on tutorial our hair is wet right wet right now but we'll be having our water bottles spray bottles first things first water mm -hmm. we are bringing you guys like not an entire line because there's six products in the, six products in this line we bought four of them but it is a hair tutorial we will be putting products in our hair and returning to show you guys the results the whole nine yards mm -hmm. the whole og old school, old school. Yeah, yeah og mac, old school mad curl style mad curl style so the brand that we are doing is and brand in the line. It's new to the natural hair community. <clears throat> Glasses. <laughs> okay, it is Cantu. Their brand new avocado hydrate. Oh, that's I'm describing the product. It's the yeah. avocado line. The avocado line. So they came out with six new products, and it's Cantu avocado. Yeah. And um, it was a witch hunt, a little bit trying to find these products. Um, I'm, I typically like buying products online, and I could not find them online. It was just like you know, you can find them at CVS, Walgreens, this place, that place. So we had to kind of hunt for them, and we do have a vlog mm -hmm. of us. Um, I will link it of us shopping for these products. Put a little green heart if you saw the vlog of us shopping for it. Yeah, if you've already <laughs> if you've already seen the vlog, or if you haven't, I will link the vlog so you can see yes. us shopping for natural hair products. Right. Um, but I found the line and I picked up for the products uh, all the stylers. I picked up. I did not pick up the shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, should we tell them what's in the line? Why not? All right, so one of the products that's in the line is, which was like one of the main reasons we kind of wanted to get the line, yeah. was this product. You talk about this yes. one. This product right here is their Avocado Hydrating Curl Activator. We have the, was it, is it the original one? The Cantu one? What was that one? The, um, it was just the Cantu Curl Activator. It was just Cantu Activator Curl one. Activator. Yeah. And I absolutely loved it. I loved it so much when I first tried it that it was going to make, I think as I said in the um, shopping video and the haul and all that, that it was going to make um, Mad Curls Channel 2018, I believe it was, a product of the year. Mm. Um, however, another line came in and, and blew it out the water. But anyway, I love it and it works just as good. I did test this one. Sometimes we'll come on and we'll kind of like do a one and done kind of thing. But I did use this one this week and um, same, uh, similar results. The last time my hair was a little bit longer, so I think I raved over it a little bit more. However, the results are exactly the same, but my hair is shorter, so I had to kind of adjust my thought process that, okay, it does the exact same thing. It's just as defining. It's just as wonderful as the other one was, but my hair is mm -hmm. shorter, so it seemed like it kind of like shrunk it more, but my hair is shorter. So mm -hmm. um, I, I took that into consideration, but it doesn't take points away from it. It's absolutely fabulous. Okay. Okay. Um, and then in this line, there is also a hydrating repair leave-in so there okay. is a leave-in it has olive oil aloe and shea butter in it and it says it mends and conditions hair mm -hmm. so there is this product i always go off the rails so i'm gonna go off the rails for those that don't know i hate when you like why didn't you take the price tag i hate that orange it looks tacky Oh, price I don't, tag. Like, oh. I'm, I'm like such a stickler for detail. Well, two of them I got out. at the beauty supply store and <laughs> yeah. two of them I got at CVS. It's just and, so ugly. There, and there was a major price difference. So the ones with these price tags were at the beauty supply store for mm -hmm. $5.99, which is typical Cantu prices. Um, but the the other two products we got at CVS and mm -hmm. they were like $7.99, $8.99. Right. And I said that like many times in the vlog and the haul. I was like, I don't know where that price came from right. for like these type of regular Cantu products. And not Amazon like, was really trying it. They want like 14, 14 something for yeah. it. Yeah. And we know that their TXTR line or texture um, is is pricey. It's an Ulta. But I was like, the rest of these little drugstore lines, yeah. like what happened? Why is it $8.99? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Right. So, okay. The repair leave-in. Okay, and, and this is their hydrating curling cream. Okay. All right. And lastly, the uh, gel. There is a gel in this line. What I think is cool is that um, most of these products don't have silicones in it. I believe the only one that has silicones is the leave-in. This one has leave-in. The leave-in the leave -in has silicones. And uh, the rest of them don't. Okay. So, um, is Cantu known for silicones? I don't really know, I don't but know. I thought I'd let you guys know that. That, um these stylers over here don't have right. silicones 
in them. However, but, if you're new to the channel again, and for those that are OG mad curls, you guys know how we just go on and I go off the rails and all that. But we're just explaining for those that are new, like that, like we don't, we're respectful of no products. Like mm -hmm. we will use anything, we will try anything. Though we've gotten better since we've had the debacle with our hair loss and shedding and all of that. We try to be a little bit more careful of the ingredients, but we were never known as a channel that was um, curly girl friendly, friendly and yeah. all that kind of stuff. We do try we products, brands, everything. we try everything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what are you styling your hair with in this video? Today, I'm going to show them how wonderful the curl activator as a one and done can be. Okay. Awesome. So, as a one and done, on this mm -hmm. channel, we call one product wash and goes one and done. Right. So, one and done. Um, so, I actually tested these products, some of them, before um, before this video, this like this last week, I tested some. Mm -hmm. um, I did the curling cream and the gel. So, it was a really beautiful wash and go. My curls were, uh, were defined, um, like no frizz. It lasted me for like a week in a wash and go. But I, the volume never came for me. And I really, really, really love volume. But if you're somebody who's looking for something that's really curl defining these two products did amazingly the curling cream and the gel for like a little bit of hold this doesn't have like a crunchy hold it called it said flexible hold and there's definitely okay. a flexible hold so i mean it did a nice job for my week in a wash and go but i was hoping volume would come at some point it never did so today i'm going to try the leave-in maybe the leave-in's a little bit lighter the okay. leave-in with a little bit of the gel and see how that does um that's what's going down okay so like i, I must yeah. have not like paid attention because you said last week you tried the curling cream and the gel yes Wow, because to me they would be like one and done in and of itself. I, I probably never. This would have this doesn't um, claim to be. Well, it says how to use it, and then it's a styling tips. The gel you can use with the curling cream or the curl activator to enhance definition and, sh and shine. This gel, some okay. gels, I feel like I want to use gels by themselves. The Cantu gels, all of them, they don't make me feel like I want to use them by themselves okay. for whatever reason. Um, I don't want to just slap this gel in my hair by itself. So, um, yeah. yes. Okay. All right, so that's what's going down. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to hear more about these products, here is Chit Chat and Estia Style Our Hair, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. So first things first, water. water. Always. That hasn't yeah. changed. Right. Had to blow the dust off our spray bottles. <laughs> <laughs> they were under the table. I was like, where are spray bottles? I don't know. So I'm really excited that Cantu came out with this line. I was excited when I first saw it um because i do like their original stuff um you know there we have we definitely have some cantu mini clips sorry i have them all on my side of the table okay um we definitely do have some cantu videos up here with with different types of cantu products and so i'm i've always been a cantu fan i like those inexpensive kind of lines every now and then i'll find something in the mix i think i like the line i was interested in it Though I didn't gravitate towards it because of the curl activator, I wanted to try that. But I kind of had the idea of the leave-in and the curling cream because it reminded me of the cream of nature mm -hmm. um, wash and go that I had that time that I really loved. The, uh, the coconut the one. The coconut one, yeah. yes. But. So I can already feel how the leave-in is a little bit uh, lighter than the oh, curling you can? cream. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the curling cream felt thicker. This doesn't feel as thick, although still rather thick. All right. um, and the smell how would you describe this, the smell of these products yes, they're all um, kind of similar yeah let me smell let me see like, i don't know it's pleasant it it's pleasant. um it's not that sweet right but, but not bakery sweet yeah no it's definitely different than like the signature can't too smell oh definitely it smells yeah. like like lotion yeah of sorts. it does kind of, of but not like florally it's, it's it, sweet mm -hmm. if i had to put it like in a, in a family of fragrances it's sweet but not you sickeningly you wouldn't say sweet. you wouldn't say like mild floral um the mild is probably a floral okay okay yeah all right so i'm gonna so i'm gonna apply the leave-in and the gel at the same time so i'm literally just like taking my fingers dipping them into the gel and whatever's on there that's what i'm using that's what i'm gonna take that actually might have been a little bit too much but yeah there's nothing wrong with like a super defined wash and go. Um, I just tend to like a little bit more volume, but I'm gonna like put the art. So this is what it looks like, and it's fairly thick. But I'm gonna put some here so I don't have to keep banging this um, in my palm to get this out because it is thick. So I bought some to the top and just would be dabbing and taking from the table here to put it in. So, um, like I said the other day, I tried it and. It definitely held my hair. Again, my length is shorter than it was when I raved about it 
it still does everything that the original one does. Today I was thinking about kind of maybe not separating it the way I'm doing now, but um, I think the results the other day were pleasant. And the next day it definitely gave me like a two day wash and go. And then I didn't go beyond that because um, today would have been the third day and, and we're filming. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, no, on your first day, I thought it looked really good. Yeah, you did, and you kept saying it, yeah. so. I was like, your hair looks good. And, and yesterday, I literally just kind of, like, sprayed, what did I do? A refresher spray, and, and then I took it and kind of, like, ran it, like I did, like, one of these things, and just kind of ran it through my head again. Mm -hmm. yep. So, we started this channel in, like, 20, I think 2017, mm -hmm. mid-2017, and, like, I feel like our height was like all of like 2018 we were just pumping out tutorials pumping out tutorials we have so many videos on this channel tons of different brands just like tutorials um yes. reviewing lines 2019 was a really rough year for both of our hair we yes. we got um we got haircuts our hair was shedding um highlights it was just a yeah. bad year and we really fell off on the tutorials completely yeah because um, I'm literally, in 2019, literally the first year we were doing tutorials so much, mm -hmm. um, you know, and my habit was always to wash my hair daily. Like every single day I would start brand new. I never knew how to refresh. It wasn't until 2018 that I learned how to refresh and, and then kind of shared my tips. We have a video, of course, on the channel about that and shared my tips, but I never knew how to do it when I first went natural. And at that point it wasn't brand new natural. Um, I just, it was a habit. I just always started my hair brand new every single day. Um, but then we realized that it was just a lot of wear and tear on our hair and our hair paid the price very yeah. dearly. And yeah, no. so we did less and less of that. Mm -hmm. And we are definitely seeing, um, the results of that now. I'm seeing my hair, um, stronger, the strength of it. And I'm happy what I'm seeing. Yeah. So we're not, um, some people were worried like, you know, oh, like you don't have to go back to giving us like tutorials like all the time like mm -hmm. you used to, but um, we wash our hair once a week anyway. So today yeah. is wash day and we're like, you know, whatever we decide to review on our wash day um, in film, that's like basically the L we're taking for the week. It's either mm -hmm. going to be really good or, you know, it's going to be the bun for the week. Right. So, you know, we'll see. Because um, so many things changed. I think it was too many things back to back to back because I don't think it was a lot of tutorials because 2017 through 2018, that's what we did. Yeah. A lot of tutorials in our hair. By the end of 2018, my hair looked fabulous. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was that. I think it was haircuts. I think it was expectations of maybe growth at that point. And then it wasn't growing like that because we had major, major highlights that was yeah. causing the shedding. So it never really was like kind of like the haircut. For me, it was stress. For some right. reason now I've adopted yes. when I get really stressed out, you know, my hair will shed. Yes. That's something that will happen. Um, with my hair, but yeah, 20, but it was a lot of stuff. Twenty nineteen was not it. I think it was like a lot of the shedding from the highlight that was not causing us to have length. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't so much. Our like, hair was growing, but we weren't um, retaining at all. Right, like it was not retaining. Yes. So and so, um, you know, I, we don't really know what to attribute this to now. You know, the turnaround. I don't think it's the fact that we backed away from the tutorials. I mm -mm. think it's a combination of things, and I can't really like really pinpoint it all. Yeah, I know where I saw a market improvement was just literally within the last couple of weeks when I did the Afoji treatment. Mm -hmm. My hair always did well with that, and it didn't disappoint at all. Need yeah, a, um, you have a um, a what comb? A, a uh, comb. nope, I don't have a comb. Nope. Do you know what a comb? Um. Yes, we do this in our videos too. Hold, please. <laughs> okay, <laughs> closer than I thought. <laughs> um, but yeah, there were a few things that we started doing. We actually wanted to uh, film a video on it, like kind of like how we recovered our hair. Because yes. if you followed us all through 2019, like then you would know. Like we said it all through 2019 on our live streams. Like our hair was just being busted, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. But now we said in 2020, um, at least for me, I'm definitely stepping away from highlighting. Um, and uh, yes, definitely. That's one of the main things. Yeah, <laughs> highlighting and washing my hair all the time. I definitely want my natural color to come back because it was so dark and shiny um, mm -hmm. when I look back at some of the videos from 2017, 2018. And I definitely went overboard with the highlights. It, like my whole head is a highlight. You know, my whole head is a highlight. However, I see hope because I'm seeing the roots, the roots that are much darker. That's the natural color of my hair. Yeah. So. 
so you did apple g i did apple um apple g too and like we can go into like more detail mm -hmm. and like about that like in another video but i also went back to um uh hot oil treatments i had to bust out the jamaican black castor oil and do some hot oil treatments because my mm -hmm. hair was starting to feel dry and that's definitely starting to uh turn my hair around again as well mm -hmm. You kind of just have to like listen to your hair and, you and notice when things are changing yeah. and you know yeah. and we learn like not to push through it's not that serious you know we want to put content out there but we're glad that you know we have a channel of subscribers that really are just happy to see us you know and what we put out mm -hmm. you guys are happy with and we appreciate that because you know we want to do this but you know we ball headed it <laughs> <laughs> um so um we since we didn't cleanse our hair with anything uh from this can't to line maybe we should say what we cleansed our hair with unless people want to know what you wash your hair with so. right with like some because the foundation makes a big difference I yeah think. so um, um we'll just tell you because we did actually film our our cleansing section we're we're busting out in 2020 with some shower scenes <laughs> so you guys will be seeing that video as well um, but yeah, what did we wash our hair with? We washed our hair with Carol's daughter, my cellar. Here, I had it right here by me. This is, I don't think it's close to my cellar. What's it called? I don't have my glasses on. Carol's daughter wash day delight. Okay. So who's used this? And so we, we are going so, to review that for so you guys. We review that. There's a yeah. video. It will and be coming soon. soon. <laughs> coming, right. coming to you soon. Yeah, we filmed it today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we can do this. Um, and then... We went in, I went in with, with a deep conditioner. I went in with my Meech Indulge. Mm -hmm. And then I rinsed that out. And what I went in with? with my Sotanicals. Um, again, my glasses. Tell me what this is. <laughs> Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic. Yeah, Fenugreek Mask Treatment. Yes, this is the Fenugreek one. So I That's chose the base. that today. Um, you put it in, put a plastic cap on. They said you can do it overnight or you can do it for about an hour. So I kind of hesitated. I'm like, are we going to be getting dressed? Because after I stepped out in the shower, then you had to step in. I'm like, are we going to be around like long enough for me to do it for an hour? And we definitely were. Yeah. Um, you know, I rave and rave and rave and rave about Sotanicals deep conditioners. How ever this is the second time i've used it no complaints because your conditioners really are to me the best out of the line that they have to offer um did it have as much slip as i needed i don't know am i alone in that am i alone in that i don't know those of you who've tried it yeah i don't know it's good no but um i probably after something like this uh, wash day. I was gonna say wash day wonder. Wash day wonder. Wash wash day delight. Wash day, yeah. Oh, I was right. gonna say wash day Wednesday. Like, right. Um, like, after something like that, I might wrong. have needed something a little bit more with slippage. I probably should have grabbed my Afro tasha or something. I don't know. Yeah, I knew I needed slippage. Yeah. So uh, I was like, where'd Meech at? Where'd mm -hmm. Meech? Like, yeah. Let's so see here. What I'm doing here. I'm gonna add more water because. I'm trying. You know, it's like when you use other brands and other products and you are satisfied with your wash and go, um, this is the price you pay, you know, for being a YouTuber and having a YouTube channel and your channel is a product review channel. So you have to review products. You can't stick with like what you really want to because mm -hmm. for my choice, I'd be sticking with like probably two brands um, for the rest of my life because I'm happy with those brands. And so my expectations have to change, you know, for that to kind of like show you guys and demonstrate what other brands do for your hair depending on your type your texture you know so this is what we're doing but so i have to get the mindset that it's not going to be uh my one of my favorite brands is curl mix it's a curl mix like blowy bouncy you know i like that this is a little bit more defined and intact and will last for a few days longer like curl mix it's just it's it's different it's blowy and i don't mind like doing that every day if i have to it's like the refreshing part of the curl mix is okay i don't know it's just i don't know i can't describe it really but it's just different and that's so funny because i can get a five day wash and go from can. curl mix which is good because, that's because you preserve your hair yeah and you really don't because curl mix products are like 20 something dollars so i'm gonna be preserving yeah. for a few days yes you know it's they're too expensive to have to mm -hmm. slap in your hair every day but girl you got many so <laughs> <laughs> do i so you guys see me here i'm feeling, or you're just bougie 
And yeah, as right? you guys know, Lorian's bougie. I'm just, I'm oh my gosh, I'm like loving this, right? I'm loving my it. My curls look fantastic, but the real test is once they dry, what's it gonna look like? But you guys but see, you can see the health, you can see the thickness of the hair. You can see that the hair has been taken care of since, I mean, think. We did a video, I think, back in October that talked about how we pushed through the sadness. Mm -hmm. And in that video, we were definitely revealing and being honest about our hair loss, our struggles, all of that. And our hair really kind of was suffering. I am putting products in my hair. My hair is wet. Um, at, the, at that point, we were just pulling out like like, what, like hair was all wrapped around our fingers and all of that. Mm -hmm. This is just like the standard ordinary. Yes. I mean, it's is that like one piece of like that's nothing. Yeah, I honestly okay. can't wait for my hair to be like dark, yeah. dark again. Like, Me too. Because like it just looks so nice. And like I did the Jamaican black castor oil hot oil treatment, so my curls are feeling like really like hydrated mm -hmm. kind of and and just you know. So this looks nice um, because it's wet, but when it gets when it's dry, you'll see so much. It'll be so different later on. It'll, it'll be, be like so much lighter. Highlights. Yeah, and, and it just looks dry. It's like hay, and I just, I'm sick of the hay thing. <laughs> and I was going to go to the salon and have them do it medium brown or light brown, whatever my hair is. But um, I just said, I just have to push through the process. I'm going to have to just cut it off the um, the highlights little by little and then eventually my hair will be coming through. I'm seeing the dark roots so I know that it's coming through and it's just time and patience as we always tell everyone when they ask for quick shortcuts, how do you grow your hair and all that, the main thing is we always say is time and patience. patience and that goes and through no matter what route you take, no matter what road you take in this journey. Mm -hmm. If it's now me trying to grow out these highlights, it's time and patience. Let me not try to over, you know, color them over with something darker because um, that's gonna turn orange because my hair <laughs> color has this backdrop. My hair has warm undertones, so that's going to turn orange. Yeah. Um, but I, what I have been doing lately is doing a blue shampoo, not the purple, but the blue, and in a mask, in an, a L'Oreal style, always overdoing. So literally, like keeping the mask on practically overnight to the point where my scalp looks blue at times. I think it's really, really kind of oh, like really. It does look bluish here. It has a blue yes. Tent. Yeah, it has a blue tint. Yeah. Because you're supposed to leave it on for like so they say three to five minutes. Busted. <laughs> I'm so sick of the orange. And you see it didn't do anything. You see it's still. Hashtag Lorian's busted blue scalp. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use this. I know this is in another line that we will be reviewing. Yes, we will be reviewing I this line too. I am loving this. This is so great. That's why I put it on the table for you. Thank you. I love this. This is their Cantu. This is the flaxseed line smoothing hair wax. And you literally take it. And you know how I do for those that don't know you know, us women of a certain age, what I do is because I get gray in my temples. And now blue in your temples. And now, <laughs> now blue in my temples. So um, I just do it here. And this alone darkens that area. Sometimes I put on a little bit of um, eyeshadow or my little bumble and bumble stick or whatever, but this is just like so cool. It just smooths down. Now, some people say when you go natural, is it kind of like not going natural? You smooth down your edges and all that. I'm um, like, that? Like I don't know, some people like just like, like oh, they're natural you're, texture, you're supposed like to have like through. little fuzzy edges yeah. instead of like Girl. slicking them down. I don't know. I feel like that's a matter of opinion. Some people can I lay their too. edges. Don't worry about me slicking down my edges. Don't worry about them and then busted baby hair. Sometimes people do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Busted baby hairs. Right. Like I don't do the baby. I hairs. envy the people who can do their baby hairs in mm -hmm. like. 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, I have to put like 10 minutes aside to do my baby hairs if I'm gonna mm -hmm. do them. Like I can't. Yeah, I'm not trying to pull out any baby hairs. I'm trying to tuck old gray hairs in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby hairs on this side of the table. And so that's what I do. Okay. Beauty is in the eye, eye of the beholder. Remember you were like, and I behold lots of beauty. And I behold <laughs> lots of beauty over here. I have to give folks me and baby steps because we got a lot of new subscribers. They might think I'm crazy. <laughs> Crazier than a bed bug. So I can't be talking, telling them all my sayings. Oh, yes. Yeah. Girl, they probably watched. Who's new? Oh. Comment down below if you're a new, if you're a new <laughs> subscriber. I know we have like tons of new ones. Hi. Mm -hmm. And hi this to the, nice. the people that have been here. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited yes. to like be filming a tutorial right now. Okay, see, you're doing too much. Now I'm doing too much. I'm just grabbing products, slapping them in my okay. hair. Okay, we're done. Okay. We're done. Okay. Some products done. gets wasted. You just keep talking. And right. Just keep putting products in. Yes. All right. So we are going to air dry our hair. Uh, it's like 50 something degrees outside, so it's pretty nice. Is um, it? Yeah, so we have to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. We're going to air dry our hair. And um, I'm like, okay, so like, so whenever you see this years from now, I may or may not still be here, who knows, with the coronavirus. Okay, but like, I'm like scared to go out there, girl, like, like, girl, like in a lot of crowds and stuff, and where we normally go, 
shopping in Danbury, Connecticut. The workers at the hospital now, like two, they've been spreading it all around. So like, I'm seriously. Well, they have been spreading it all around, but they have it. <laughs> all There's right. two people that have well, it. No, but they take it dead serious because um. So we're not supposed to eat? We're not supposed to go grocery shopping? I don't know. I'm not really sure, but let me tell you this. They take it that seriously that um, Spencer does the Army Reserves on the weekend and where his base is in Danbury and um, a sergeant or somebody texted him and said like, he, they understand that they're giving people the option if they want to go into the base because it is in Danbury and there was a concern. I'm like, if the Army's taking it serious like that, then, you know, let me start like taking it serious. All right, green so, eyes. So we have to go grocery shopping, and um, <laughs> we will be back to show you guys these results. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. And we are back. back. <laughs> these are our results, and I'm living for these results. Definitely different than when I did the curling cream and the gel. My hair was much flatter. Um, this definitely feels more airy. There's volume. I am happy with this. The mm. leave-in is a go. The curling cream is a no. For okay. right now. The leave-in and the gel. The leave-in and the gel, okay. yes. And the gel says it has a flexible hold. Definitely. There was there really there was not a like a crunchy cast. Um it's oh, it's yeah, pretty it's all. pretty soft. And I think I saw reviews people yeah. saying, you know, the gel didn't hold much of anything. Like yeah. Okay. Um, it's like, so like I can't wait to kind of see my hair in the morning because uh, it's it's, yeah. it's pretty soft. It's pretty soft, but yeah. but soft holds don't necessarily mean I won't get a week in a wash and go. So okay. um or you know that frizz will come. That's not necessarily what that yeah, means. So very defined. We'll see. But yes, mm -hmm. the curl definition is everything. Yours too. Yeah, mine is very very. And our, but the texture feels different. Mine is just very dense. Mm -hmm. So I never get the softness that you always get from products. I feel it's um it almost okay. feels like a medium to firm hold for me. And I don't think I went product heavy. I I think it's very similar to what I got when my hair was a little bit longer. It's just more condensed because it's shorter. But it's it's the same thing. The curl definition is there. Uh, very little frizz. The only little frizz that's popping up is because I just keep kind of like manipulating it because it's so defined. I keep trying to kind of like pick it out and make it bigger. Yeah. But time will do that. Um, and I just have to wait, you know, a day or two. One thing that can but, definitely um, be said about this line is that it defines curls. So you've tried yes. the activator cream. I've done the gel with the curling cream. Now the gel with the leave-in. Mm -hmm. Your your curls are gonna curl. Like um, yes. it definitely defines curls. What you have right. Yeah, it defines yeah. curls. Um, yeah. No I mean, doubt you about can just that. See the definition. And just see. Yeah, go off camera a little bit. Oh, am I? I'm yeah. trying to just like kind of like show okay. this side go. of it, so you can definitely see the definition that it offers to I you. really yeah. like this though I'm glad I did the leave-in today um yeah the the curling cream uh, you guys probably won't be able to see the see the difference because they both just look like yeah in the ring light okay. they're both white creams Are they, but, um, the but this is but one looks a little this one? this is the, the cream this is thicker yeah this looks thicker this is definitely thicker this is Sounds this good. feels more wet like okay. or like like I don't know, they're both thick creams, but 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 that one is definitely thicker. It's like so subtle the difference, right? Yeah, this is a little bit wetter, wetter. Right? wetter. Does that make sense? So subtle the difference. Does that make sense? Wait, this is olive oil, aloe, and shea butter. This is shea butter, mango butter, and coconut oil. So the curling wow. cream is shea butter, mango butter, and coconut oil. Whereas the leave-in is olive oil, aloe, and shea butter. Definitely wow. lighter ingredients. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's probably why it's a little bit lighter. So, um, maybe if you are, like, one of, like, if you like something a little bit heavier, maybe more moisturizing. Like, to me, it, it, it was too much for my hair. Okay. Um, wait, this goes over Remember here. Remember when we had the other line that I talked about in the beginning of the video? The cream of nature, the coconut milk line, and we did it initially with the leave-in. Um, and the cream, the curling cream on top, and then everyone swore, or quite a few people swore that we could do just the leave-in mm -hmm. or just the curling cream or something, and then we did it like the next day, and no, you couldn't. It really was meant to go together. This, I don't know if you can separate them. I wonder if the leave-in can hold on its own or the, just the curling cream can just be on its own. I mean, the curling cream is probably thick enough to, to hold on its Definitely. own. Definitely. Probably not something I want to dive into, but... Right. um yeah. But yeah, uh... Definitely, I like yeah. I like the line. I'm definitely happy yeah. with the line. One day I will be trying the curl activator. It smells so um, good. Let me see what the curl activator smells like the entire line. But my my the curl definition is really oh yeah, it smells just like the amazing. Line. Yeah, 
the curl definition is amazing. Mm -hmm. I really, really like it. So yeah. this can, is just a, a fabulous find. Like whoever finds it, whoever gets onto this Cantu curl activator. Like, I don't think I ever would have really noticed it in a store, in a beauty supply store or in a CVS. Mm -hmm. I just the idea of a curl activator. Um, me personally, like the last time I heard the word activator was back in the Jerry Curl days. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I would have gravitated towards it. I really wouldn't have known what to do with it. Okay. You know, so I'm so glad. Like, like we do the channel, we try different things, and you guys turn us on to things. So whoever it was last year that turned us on to the original one, um, I've loved it ever since. Yeah, definitely check that video out. We'll mm -hmm. link some of the other Cantu videos we have on this channel. But I know um, as of March 2020, people are having a hard time finding it. Again, like in our vlog you saw us kind of going on like the witch hunt for it i right. found it a little bit here found the rest over there so i found mine in cvs in a beauty supply store um i had to go to a cvs in a more like urban like ethnic area like the, the town right. we live in was no point going to those to that cvs because yeah. it was not going to be in there no um but yeah so cvs uh, they said it's in Walgreens, Target. Basically, what it shows on their website is wherever Cantu products are sold, you know, can't it could it could be in there. Okay. But you kind of have to find it. I know people in New York were saying, you know, I can't find it. I can't find it. Right. So um, maybe as like the month goes on, like into April, you might be able to start finding it online. Uh, last week, the week before, mm -hmm. when I was trying to find it, when was the line released? I could not find it online. Uh, February, January. Okay. So, 20, yeah. maybe don't quote me guys mm -hmm. i have no idea but oh it's definitely gosh. it's so definitely cute. new definitely it definitely new it needs, i think it needs a little bit of shine you know it's what time is it because um so that they can it's get a an like idea. midnight so it's midnight so like i really don't want to do the shine but like why not let's just see let me just grab here my nourishing goes. shine here we go nourishing shine uh yeah where's that at it's in the drawer right here oh okay yeah because like that's my like old faithful that i still go to all the time even though i do have like a lighter serum -y oil but no nourish and shine is like what i would go to when i'm doing some hardcore cantu cream of nature like you know you have to like match the the shine and the brilliance and the the butter tendency um, go on and consistency it, girl. with the products that okay. you're dealing with okay this is not any like like little lightweight flaxseed kind of thing this is like some serious creams so here I go. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Yep. What did I read something about nourish and shine? Somebody said it nourishes and shines your hair. And I'm like, mm-hmm. That's like a kind of be like confusing folks I'm trying to make them think it's Jane Carter's nourish and shine. So yeah, here we go. You never know it's midnight the way I'm slathering it on. But, she um, said she wasn't going to because she didn't want grease on her pillow. I don't yeah, know. It's, probably probably like, it's, not, it's not grease. It's probably not grease, but it just to me always adds something to my hair. It just needed a little something, a little something extra. She just loves products. I know. Just don't period. be afraid to mess your hair up and get them products in there she um, wants a one day wash and go clearly because see me i need my hair to look good for tomorrow so i'm not fluffing now and doing nothing else what y'all see is what you get right now because um i need to tie my hair up for uh work tomorrow i know and I know. how i'm gonna do that is just a pineapple and put a scarf on i know i clearly want a one day wash and go because yeah me, you are just like what are you doing I know, you don't want your hair to be great tomorrow i don't all this yanking and pulling and great, greasing and great for doggy yeah no um we were going to film the intro and outro for, our next <laughs> for video. another video tomorrow um <laughs> actually yeah. tonight but we're too tired so thank goodness we put that one on the shelf yeah but yeah tomorrow um this will be ready to go okay we're done talking i think mm -hmm. now because yeah, so now see. now now we're just we're just talking right well, i'm now. just talking to the girls girl. okay girl but this video is going to be too long girl mm -hmm. okay so all right so see um guys it just adds that little extra something in my opinion what that something is we don't know <laughs> but that extra something all right, so comment down below uh, what you guys think of our washing goes, what you think of this Cantu line, if you are impressed, mm -hmm. if you think it's a mess, you know, like whatever <laughs> whatever you think, if you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, if you want to find it. I don't know. Leave your comments on this product below. Yeah. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you had fun mm -hmm. hanging out with us. Yeah. And uh, we will see you, in our, see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.